Fox 6 News. Maybe Chip. that's a follow-up right there. Exactly. Chip, thank you. The world welcomes the new leader of the Catholic Church today. Thousands went to the Vatican for the installation of Pope Francis. Fox's Lauren Green has the story now from Rome. Hundreds of thousands gather at St. Peter's Square for the inauguration mass of Pope Francis, the new leader of the Catholic Church. In his homily to the crowd, Francis calling on the faithful to protect the weakest and the poorest in the world. It means protecting people, showing loving concern for each and every person, especially children, the elderly, the fragile, and those who are always left at the periphery of our heart. More than 100 dignitaries and heads of state also in attendance, including U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, the first Catholic elected to the position. The new pontiff sending a message directly to them. I would like to ask all those who have positions of responsibility in economic, political, and social life, and all men and women of goodwill, let us be protectors of creation, protector of God's plans inscribed in nature, protectors of one another and of the environment. Let us not allow omens of destruction and death to accompany the advance of this world. Francis meeting with the dignitaries after the Mass. Before the Mass, Francis receiving the fisherman's ring symbolizing the papacy, a woolen stole symbolizing his role as shepherd of his flock and vows of obedience from a number of cardinals. As the mass began, Pope Francis greeted the faithful from the Pope Mobile for nearly half an hour. He signaled the jeep to stop as it approached a group of people in wheelchairs so he could step out and bless a man being propped up to the barricade. The spontaneous gesture becoming a hallmark for the new pontiff who has made it clear he wants his papacy to be focused on the poor and the disadvantaged. In Rome, Lauren Green, Fox News. And there will be a mass here in Milwaukee for the installation of Pope Francis. Archbishop Jerome Listecki will say mass at the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist. That'll be at 7 o'clock tonight.